Hey guys, I'm going to be reading Dolphin Tale, a true friendship based, a tale of true friendship based on the hit movie. This is actually one of my favorite movies in the world, inspired them from by the amazing true story of Winter. Dolphin Tale, a tale of true friendship. This is the story of a friendship between a very special dolphin named Winter and a boy named Sawyer. One day, Sawyer was riding his bike when he saw a dolphin laying on the beach. Winter had been swimming in the ocean, but she had swum too close to shore. Now her tail was caught in a crab trap. Winter was in trouble. Sawyer could see the dolphin was hurt and knew he had to help her. Sawyer remembered that he had a pocket knife in his backpack. He used the knife to cut Winter free from the trap. Winter looked at Sawyer and made a soft whistling noise as if to say thank you. Soon, rescue workers from the local marine hospital arrived. They took Winter to the hospital. The next day, Sawyer went to the hospital to visit Winter. There, he met Hazel the daughter of Dr. Haskett, the doctor who was in charge of the Marine Hospital. Winter was in a large pool with Phoebe, one of their tr the trainers, when Sawyer saw her. Winter had a bandage where her tail had been. Her eyes were shut and she wasn't moving. As soon as Sawyer sp spoke to Phoebe, Winter opened her eyes. She looked right at Sawyer and made the soft whistling sound again. She was happy to see her friend. Sawyer came back to visit Winter the next day. The trainers were worried because Winter still hasn't hadn't tried to swim. But when she saw Sawyer, Winter wiggled her body, trying to move closer to him. Sawyer s slowly reached his hand out and touched Winter's head. Winter sighed. Her friend was there. Sawyer started visiting the hospital every day. Every day, Sawyer could see Winter growing stronger. Sawyer and Hazel made special food for her to keep her get to help her get better. At night, Sawyer would research dolphins until he fell asleep. Winter still couldn't swim like she used to, but she floated and moved around in the pool by wiggling her body and flapping her fins. She also used her fins to play games with Sawyer and splash him with water. Winter loved to play with toys, too. She would sometimes grab a toy in, in Sawyer's hand with her mouth and try to pull Sawyer into the pool with her. One day, the trainers noticed a bump on Winter's back. So Dr. Heskett took an x-ray of Winter's spine. The x-ray showed that Winter's spinal cord was being damaged from the way she was swimming. Dolphins aren't, are supposed to swim by moving their bodies up and down, not side to side as Winter had been doing. Dr. Haskett explained that the spinal cord in both humans and dolphins control their heart, movement, heart movements and breathing. If Winter didn't start learning how to swim by moving her body up and down again, her spinal cord could get worse. Could she ever? She could she could even die? Sawyer was very worried for Winter, but he had an idea. Sawyer talked to his cousin Kyle, who had who had hurt his leg while serving in the army. A man named Doctor McCarthy had made Kyle a plastic brace to help him walk. Kyle said that Dr. McCarthy also made legs out of plastic. These are called prosthetics. Sawyer wondered if the doctor could make Winter a prosthetic tail. Great news! Dr. McCarthy agreed to come and see Winter. Dr. McCarthy's first step was to make a mold of the st stump where Winter's tail used to be. The doctor used the mold to create Winter's new tail. Once it was ready, Winter could test out her new tail.
Sawyer and everyone at the hospital were nervous to see if Winter could use her new tail. They held her in the pool as Ma Dr. McCarthy attached her the prosthetic. They gently tried to let Winter go, but she started squealing and thrashing around. She didn't like the tail and smashed it against the pool until it broke. Sawyer and the others were crushed. Sawyer and the others were crushed, but Mark, Dr. McCarthy wasn't ready to give up yet. He decided to make a different prosthetic for Winter with a better liner. The time came to test Winter's new and improved tail. Everyone at the hospital held their breath while the prosthetic was attached. Winter looked back at her new tail and shook it. She slowly started to move her tail up and down and up and down. She was swimming. Winter was going to be okay. Thanks to the special friendship of a brave boy and the help of some very caring people, a dolphin re received a brand new tail and learned how to swim again. Dolphin facts. Winter is a bottlenose dolphin. Dolphins might look like fish, but they are mammals, just like humans. Dolphins breathe through a blowhole in the top of their head. Blow bottlenose dolphins can grow to be 10 to 15, 10 to 14 feet long and weigh up to 1,010 pounds. Dolphins swim in groups called pods. Dolphins eat mainly fish, but also eat squid and shrimp. The real winter. The real winter is happy and healthy, living in the Clearwater Marine Aquarium in Clearwater, Florida. You can visit her there or see her online at www.seawinter.com. So, and like, um, the movie has a whole lot more details, and I love the movie so much. So, yeah, that is the dolf um, dolphin tail. And it is one of my favorite movies 